Sky Wiley is the staff director for the Volunteer Lawyer Program of Southwestern Indiana and my Evansville Day School online auction co-host. Hey, Scott. Good morning, Angie. Good to see you again. Such a pleasure to be with you always. Well, we were chatting the other night at the auction about some very important issues and maybe some myths that are out there. People are, are unable because of the, the virus, not able to work, and obviously that means they can't pay a lot of their bills, including their rent. And so there, what's the fact about being evicted? Well, there are so many things right now. We're trying in the local bar association and all of the pro bono programs across the state to get information out to ensure people are as safe and secure during this period of time as possible. And that myth you mentioned is that there is a, a, a moratorium right now in most areas of the state and many areas of the country on, on completing evictions or mortgage foreclosures. And that's to ensure that people have a home or an apartment to stay in while we're under this stay at home order. And um, one of the challenges of that is some people have misperceived that as being part of the CARES Act and one of the stimulus issues and they believe that that means that because there are those moratoriums they don't have to pay their rent or they don't have to pay their mortgage and that is a myth. You still have to pay your rent, you still have to pay your mortgage or otherwise when those moratoriums are lifted you get evicted. So why, why are people misunderstanding that? Because I mean, your rent is your rent, or your mortgage is your mortgage, it has to come. So what's caused the confusion? I, I, you know, there's so much in social media, the news about how the federal government is doling out a lot of money, and they are. We have increased unemployment benefits, 600 extra dollars a week. Um, we have stimulus checks that are going out from the federal government. Um, so a lot of folks have heard these as part of that overall package, and many people have misperceived. So what we don't want is people going out and buying a big screen TV with that stimulus check if they need to use it to pay their rent. We want people to remain housed and remain in their homes after this COVID-19 issue is over. And so we're trying to make sure, and we're offering a number of legal clinics and talk to a lawyer sessions um, in the next month or so to answer people's questions. One of the things other people, people may not know as well is those stimulus checks don't go against your food stamp eligibility, um, against your eligibility for unemployment insurance. And and many other federal programs right now so you can go ahead and feel comfortable in accepting that stimulus money and also seeking other areas of help if you need it during this crisis. Scott, how are, uh, we've got these clinics, I say, and we're showing the graphic online. How do people reach you uh, and, and get in touch with somebody to kind of guide them through the maze yeah, it's, that is confusing it's issues. Very, it's very challenging because, as you know, our courts are closed, our civic center is closed to the general public. I encourage people that if you go online and look at the resource list that we provided that is on Tri-State homepage, um, you'll see some of that. But going to indianalegalhelp.org is a way you can search your local area and look for resources available, including COVID-19 related um, things. You can also go to the free um, legal answers question site that's available through the American Bar Association platform and there's an Indiana specific version of that. Those links are both on that information that are on Tri-State homepage. Scott, thank you. There's just so much. I mean, it's just kind of an overwhelming amount of uh, information to process. Thank you for what you do and for uh, helping people get out of tough spots. Appreciate it. Well, and thanks what you do to get all this information out to the general public, Angie. Thank you, Scott. Talk to you soon. We'll be back with more local lifestyles right after this.